Our next guest needs no introduction. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, so I'll just imitate him. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank are you, you. Are you, but you had years of this. I mean, did you, this was a very popular show. Do people get crazy when they see you just out? And actually, now that I'm, I'm 30 and people are catching up with my age, they actually treat me like they would treat anybody else. You're 30, I like you're, it. You're 30 years old yep. now. My God. How, how, what age span were you on the show? From what age uh, to what age were you on the show? Oh, like Lily years, failing. So. Uh, let's just say from... End of 78 through February of 86. 86. You can kind of figure it out in between. Okay. Uh, we got a little clip, lest you should forget. Here's a little something with Gary and uh, with his brother. All right, Alan, you can be our gopher. Oh, thanks, Willis. Oh, I'm going to be a gopher. <laughs> What's a gopher? It means you go for sandwiches, you go for drinks, you go for anything we want. Over that. Uh, I was wanting to know, and this could be a question really for any of you, but are you surprised or amazed that the interest lasts year after year with the websites and shows like this? Oh, no, I, I saw it coming. I knew that, oh, okay, this is going to be what the Internet's going to be. It's going to be nostalgia and people doing Internet interviews and chat lines. And I saw it coming. That's why I don't have a computer. I haven't had one for seven years. Oh, you don't have one? No. What, what are you doing these days, by the way? Well, I'm a, a corporate spokesperson and director of promotions for Hall World Cafes, which reminds me, I have yeah. something for you. If, it, if it's freebies, I'm coming. <laughs> I just hope I got your size. I think so. Thank you very much. What a cute logo. Yeah, so yeah, there's a place in Pasadena where you can play laser tag. So if you ever bring your show uh, to LA, to LA, come on to Alvaro Cafe. Well, thank you I'll very much. You. I'll take it. I'll take it. Would you want this for me? Give us some t-shirts for you too. Huh? Oh, thank you very much. For thank your you. Friends, family. Appreciate that. Speaking of family, let's get away. Do you are you in touch with any of your cast members? How'd you guys get along at the time? Oh, I got along with everybody as as a professional and as a person working. I'm, I'm very business-like when I'm working. Uh, once a project is done, I just look forward to the next thing. Um, I wanted to know, are you married? No, I'm very single. Uh, can I get a hug? Sure, you yeah. uh -huh. not in the cards for me. Can somebody do an impression of Gary Coleman? Yeah, do we, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I can do it. Come on, we, we'll, get, we'll, get, we'll get some, huh? We have it on tape? Okay, let's go to the, uh, this is the tape on the street. We just set our cameras out. I think it's on there. Of all the three child stars on different strokes, who walked away with the most cash? Who came up with the famous phrase, what you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? So did Willis and Kimberly have a hookup romantically in real life? It's yeah. it's so, uh, did they hook up? I, 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 oh, did the, I think the black guy had it close. It was real close. So did they hook up though, Willis and uh, Oh, did they? Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've seen the... Uh, yeah. Do I look like a guy that would lie to you? <laughs> We've had uh, Dana Plato on the show, and 
uh, Todd Bridges, who each had their share of problems. Duke, are you in touch with them at all? Do you see them? Well, I'm actually in touch with Todd because of he's got this movie, The Cleaner, that he wants me to do a part in, but that's about it. I haven't heard from Dana in a while, and Conrad is just the intelligent uh, professional that he is. I just love him to death. I aspire to be every bit as good as he was, uh, and think, still is. I think your name came up when they were on our show. We have a past clip to show you. I haven't tried to make a, um, an assessment of myself personally in a while. I haven't really tried to physically find him yeah. or deal with it because I've been having my own personal problems. Do you want so, to now, though, Danny? Um, I wouldn't mind. I would not mind at all. We all shared a lot of good experiences on that show. I mean, that yeah. show was eight years. They were my only show. family. You know, uh, uh, Todd's been on, I think, two or three times. He always talks about you on the, on the show. Yeah, well, I can certainly see he's happily married. He's got mm -hmm. his uh, baby girl now, and uh, his life is, is, is looking as bright and shiny as mine it currently is. Who watched the show a lot? Who can answer a trivia question? Hmm? Can you name uh, the name of Arnold's goldfish? Abraham. That's right. He is best known as the snooty, sarcastic butler Jeffrey on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. We'll be here next. The knockouts. It was the first punch thrown in the fight. There you see it. Wow, he just turned his head around. Oh, for whom everybody predicts a great future. Left hand almost drove Richardson right through the canvas. 